Zoroastrians see fire as the sacred symbol of Ahura Mazda. Yes, he tell, I'm telling you, it comes with nonsense like this, like this this fire, technically you know, not worshipping, but kind of like worshipping stuff is, yeah. Considered to be pure and represents. So they think there's something magical about fire. Hold on. Fire as the sacred symbol. Oh, and this is why a lot of Muslims considered, uh, a lot of Muslims when they were attacking Zoroastrians, uh, they consider them to be at the um, Zoroastrians to be devil's minions, right? Because in Islam, when you think okay, so in Zoroastrianism, when you think fire, you think holy, divine. But in Abrahamic religions, especially in Christianity and Islam, when you think fire, you think hell, right? You fire is like a negative thing, and in Zoroastrianism, fire is like a positive thing, right? So when the Arabs first came in contact with Zoroastrians, they were like, these people must be on the side of the devil, <laughs> right? Like they're worshiping fire. Like what the hell's up with that, right? They thought they considered them to be devil worshippers or something like that, right? All right. Of Ahura Mazda. It is considered- Guys, can you make the comments about what we're covering here? Because I don't, I'm not gonna highlight your comments if you talk about something else. What the hell? Jack, you, you distracted me with other comments. Okay. Yeah. Zoroastrians see fire as the sacred symbol of Ahura Mazda. It is considered to be pure and represents the truth. Inside Zoroastrian fire temples, their priests conduct all rituals in front of fire because it shows the presence of Ahura Mazda. But the fire. Wait, what? Their priests them fire. Zoroastrians see fire as the sacred symbol of Ahura Mazda. It is considered to be pure and represents the truth. Inside Zoroastrian fire temples, their priests conduct all rituals in front of fire because it shows the presence of Ahura Mazda. Yeah, but and these fires should never go out. These fires are supposed to be eternal, right? And there were, I remember there was these fire temples in Iran that had fires burning in the temple without them ever go, going out for like many, many, many years. I'm, Tempted to say thousands of years, right? Until the Arabs invaded and some of these temples, the fire going out, it was like a major tragedy. Like it was like, whoa, guys, we had these fires going on for so many years, and now all of a sudden the fires went out. They like there were some Zoroastrians that were sure that the end, like if you have it, if you didn't have those temp like those holy, really holy fire temples in Iran, they were pretty sure that if you if these fire goes, these fires go out. That would be surely the end of everything. The universe is gonna collapse or something, right? And then when the Arabs invaded and those fires went out, they were like, um, they were like, yeah, okay, this is the end of time now, I guess. <laughs> but then the end of time didn't come. Oh, <laughs> Deborah saying, Oh my god, I want to see a fire temple. What the <laughs> yeah. Uh Oh yeah! Wow, you guys really like the idea of a fire temple, huh? man. I want to start to have a fire temp fire temple near my house. <laughs> but the fire is never actually worshipped itself. Yeah. So this is the misunderstanding that non Arabs and everybody who came in contact with, because they were like, they really look like they were worshiping the fire, so they they call them fire worshippers. And even to this day. The Zoroastrians are by, by Muslims and some jihadis referred to as fire worshippers as a derogatory term. But apparently they don't actually wor worship the fire. This is fairly important. Zoroastrians do not worship fire. Zoroastrianism also isn't a congressional religion. Most worship is done at home. Look at this. Look at the hair covered and they have this thing in front of their face. I... I'm not, I think this is for avoiding dead, dead things catch, uh, touching the ground. So he's saying most worship is done at home, but was this, yeah, but it wasn't like this at all times. They used to have temples. Like, um, people used to gather. I, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. And Zoroastrians tend to only go to fire temples during oh. the seven holy days or festivals they ah. have each year. The most sacred fires in Zoroastrianism need to be made up of fire from 16 different sources, one of which needs to be ignited by lightning. Six. Wow, that's a major inconvenience. One of, so there needs to be 16 different sources of 
fire um and one of it needs to be by lightning jesus christ that's a major inconvenience <laughs> um appetite is saying everything changed when the fire nation attacked well unfortunately real history was that the uh, persia was the fire nation and the fire nation was attacked by the muslims right so that's what happened that's what actually the fire nation did attack a whole bunch of people so yeah fire nation is persia ancient persia and ancient persia i mean they, they conquered egypt uh they got india for a while yeah, so they did. Oh, yeah, they did. At the fire, the the fire nation literally did attack the whole and conquer a whole bunch of places. That's okay. One of which needs to be ignited by lightning. How do they manage to do that? Lightning, like what if it's not? What if there's no lightning? And when it's lightning, how do you? How are you gonna? How are you gonna go get that? How are you gonna go turn that into fire? 